Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lordess Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of November the 9th through to the 15th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Libra. First up, we have the Nine of Wands in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana of Lovers reversed. And next, we have the Six of Swords in the reverse, followed then by the Four of Pentacles upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Hermit in the Upright. Well, for your overall energy, Libra, you have that of the Nine of Wands. This is the Wounded Warrior card. This is someone who feels like they need to be ready for something. See, the Nine of Wands in this card represent all the challenges that we fought on one specific subject. So for some, it, remember, it's going to be different for all of you. So for some of you, this could be about a relationship, a specific relationship. Could be a friendship, could be a family relationship, could be a romantic relationship. Others of you, this could be about a health situation. This could be about a financial situation, a work situation. But it's something that you've almost like nines represent, tens represent the end, right? So this is where you're almost at the end of your rope with something. Something is becoming maybe too much of a burden. I can't deal with this anymore. We're waiting and um, we're sort of waiting. We're beat up in the Nine of Wands. We're beat up on that subject. This is why he has the bandage around his head. He's the wounded warrior, but he can still fight another day if they should have to. They're still, they're, you know, worse for wear, but they're still standing there on guard, ready to fight. Now, remember with the Nine of Wands energy, this could just be, we feel like there's going to be another shoe drop. There's going to be something happening here. But it doesn't necessarily mean there is. It just means we're in, you know, we're in combat. We're combat ready. You know what I mean? So this could be what's going on. You could be sort of on edge a little bit this week, maybe waiting, you know, for the worst situation or that that situation to come back and rear its ugly head again. Now, coming right off the hop here, we do have the Gemini energy here that lovers in the reverse position. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Maybe you're at the end of your rope with a Gemini. For others of you, this could be about dealing with a situation that needs a decision made on it. Maybe you need to make a final decision on this, Libra. This could be a, a time that you need to call um, on a partnership, sometimes because the lovers can represent a relationship. Maybe it's time to call a relationship and you're not doing it. Uh, this could be about, you know, needing to separate from a, a person. Maybe it's a friendship. Maybe it's a relationship. Like, again, it's going to be different for all of you. But you're, you're hesitating. That could be the case for some of you with the lovers in reverse. For others of you, this could be about you've made a decision, you made a, a choice, but maybe now you're feeling like that was not the right choice. Sometimes the lovers in reverse can be about a poor choice. Maybe getting involved in something and then going, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that, which could explain the Nine of Wands energy here where we're kind of on guard. Maybe uh, Libra, you got yourself into something in the uh, in the last little while and now you're trying to figure out how you can get out of it. <laughs> so now remember, it's if it it's not your story, you'll know it. It's not going to resonate for you. If it's your story, it will resonate for you and it'll make sense and you'll know exactly what's happening here. But don't worry about it. If it's not your story, check your moon, your rising, your um, your Venus sign even. Um, if not, then, you know, check back next week. Because remember, these readings are general and they're not going to apply to every single uh, Libra out there. So just keep that in mind. If it's your story, you'll know. <laughs> Now, moving on to the next card, we have the Six of, of uh, Swords here in the reverse position. This is, again, indication of hesitance. It's a hesitancy of moving on, moving away from emotional difficulties and a problem here. In the upright, this can point to moving on, moving away from this. This could be escape. This could be getting away from this, moving past a situation that has really, you know, held us up. This could be about physically moving. This could be about traveling. It could be about any kind of like moving past a situation that, you know, kind of got us stuck. But when it's in the reverse, this can point back to the Five of Swords in the upright, indicating inner conflict or conflict with others. So this is about needing to move on. Maybe you're on the precipice of moving forward here. 
uh, Libra, because you're on edge about something. Something needs to be released, right? You need to make a decision here and, um, or maybe counteract a decision that you've already made and move on. There's a hesitancy here in the beginning of the week. It's just in the beginning of the week I see here. And that makes so much sense with this nine of wands here now. So there's a particular situation, you know, whether it be family, friendship, romance, or a um, work situation, what have you, whatever it is, there's something here that you need to move on from, Libra, and there's a hesitancy to do so. Now, I don't know why that is. You feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or to email me and let me know what's going on. But it looks like some of you could be struggling with a serious situation that maybe you got yourself into and you really need to get yourself out of it and you just don't know how or you're just maybe not ready to move on. And the next card up is the four of pentacles in the upright position. This is a card of, of, I call it my hoarder card. This is when we're holding on to tightly. Sometimes it can represent financial uh, struggles or difficulties. Maybe that's why there's a hesitancy to move on or maybe some of you want to move physically, but you can't because you're saving up money for it. it. could be the situation. Maybe you're feeling on edge as to where you live right now and you want to move, but you can't, you have to, you know, save up the money for it. And that's okay. That's fine. That's a logical thing to do. If you want to move and you don't have the finances, start saving for it, start putting the money away and then you can move on, right? For others of you, though, the Four of Pentacles could be about holding on too tightly to old belief systems, you see. So this could make sense, too. That's why maybe you're hesitant to move on. Maybe you have an old belief system that tells you to hold on to a situation, even though maybe it's not the right situation for you. Maybe, you know, you were, you have this belief system that tells you, you know, don't give up your job until you secured another one or don't, you know, walk away from a relationship, even if it's miserable, whatever those belief systems may be. I'm just, that's just completely off the top of my head. I'm just saying this could be what's happening for some of you holding on to these old belief systems. Others of you, this is about financial, you know, needing to save up money in order to get yourself perhaps out of a situation, a home situation or a work situation, a relationship, marriage, what have you. And the last card you have here is the Virgo energy now, the hermit in the upright position. Now this is indicating that you may be needing to go within here. Uh, Libra. Maybe you need to go within. You might need to do some research on the subject, or maybe you just need to go within. For those of you who do practice meditation and that kind of thing, maybe Libra, you need to go within, do some meditation, figure this thing out uh, before you go you know, running off half cock kind of thing. Some of you could have gotten yourself into a spot, into a situation where you need, you know, you need the release from it. You definitely do, but maybe you just need to take a time out right now. You might need to spend some time on your own where, you know, the outside world and the chatter needs to stop and you just need to do some self-examination. Some of you need to do some research, especially if you're looking for a new place. Maybe you need to look for affordable places, that kind of thing. Uh, whatever your situation is, there could be a need come the weekend to sort of go within and figure this situation out. So interesting reading here, Libra. I really hope that it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.